What if you woke up tomorrow and just heard that a global event will mean the end of the world? What would you do? How would you react? In this video, I will share with you 16 specific ways in which the world might end. Don't skip around, watch it all because each one will make you think. Also, please do not forget to subscribe as well as like this video. Thank you kindly. So let's start with the 16 predictions about the end of the world, starting with my own account from a real life experience. When I was a teenager, I used to work with missionaries to preach Christianity in my own country. Later, as an adult, I went to England and Wales to do the same. We would use such words as, what is the purpose of life? Being in the last days, end of the world and the second coming as a means to get people thinking beyond their day-to-day -day ritual. Of recent, because of the invasion of the Ukraine by Russia in 2022, there has been a lot of talk of nuclear warfare and what that could mean as an end of life as we know it on this planet. However, there have been many takes beyond Christianity and religion as a whole as to what will happen in the end days. Let's cover the main ones starting with number one, Baba Vanga, the mystic. Baba Vanga is allegedly a teller of the future with pretty good accuracy. According to Baba Vanga, she was accurate about the invasion of the Ukraine and that Russia would grow to an unstoppable power. But later in the year, our year, 2022, she claimed that there would be an alien invasion that may result in the aliens taking prisoners. You might think this is far-fetched, but listen on. In 2017, she was able to predict that there would be a visitation of an outer planetary object, and this was verified by NASA. NASA said the first known interstellar object that was cigar-shaped entered our solar system sometime around October 2017 and left as quickly as it came. NASA could not label it as an asteroid, hence they're saying it was the first known interstellar object. You can see that on NASA's site. I put the link in the description. According to Baba Vanga, this object was sent by aliens to scout for other planetary life. Number two. Now since we are talking about aliens already, let's move to one of the next popular predictions by those who have encounters with aliens known as the Nordics. The Nordics are human-like aliens that watch over the Earth. Many of those who had communication with the Nordics claim that these aliens are peaceful and will not allow nuclear weapons to destroy the Earth, but in doing so will have to disclose their existence to the entire Earth. This will bring a new age of the Earth if this is true. Number three. Before we leave the aliens, there is yet another prediction about aliens that we should know about. Aliens that are already here. That's right. According to many who have either been abducted or communicated with aliens known as greys, reptilians and other human appearing beings, they are living on or within the earth. Therefore, while they do not meddle in the major affairs of man, they would not want mankind to use nuclear weapons as this could affect them as well, so they would stop it. Number four, the second coming. Many also refer to this as the rapture, which encompasses end times. There are many prophecies in the Bible and other religious books about the coming of God. According to these prophecies, God will intervene just before the world is totally overrun by the evil state in which it has fallen. For Christians, this means Jesus Christ will appear. But if you are Buddhist, then Buddha will be the one who will interject. There are many religious predictions from Islam, Judaism, and even Rastafarians about the end time that cannot all be covered here. But they all more or less say the same thing. Good will triumph over evil. Number five, prediction by those who use science, or in other words, the scientists. There is global warming that will reach such a heated state that the world will become like Mars. Or to put it in better perspective, imagine all the world looking like a desert. Even so, sea levels could also rise as the Arctic ice melts, causing a whole set of destruction of its own. Without enough drinkable water, life on Earth would become a struggle to survive with food shortages and fires everywhere. In fact, if we can, we can see evidence of this already. Just watch the news. Number six. If there was a nuclear war, then the world would collapse and become a wasteland largely due to the number of nuclear weapons used around the world. While some privileged people may be able to survive below ground using bunkers, one has to wonder for how long could they survive without sunlight or the replenishing of food and water. In other words, men would become like cave people or dwellers without the light of sun. 
unless they are within a facility that can generate electricity, farm production and so forth. While that is possible, again, that would be reserved for a very small amount of VIP people. Number seven, a virus. We have seen how COVID-19 ravished human life on Earth, but just imagine if there was a biochemical war that took all human life. There have been many movies about zombies and the like, but it may be that people just simply die rather than rise up as zombies. Number eight, an object such as a large asteroid or planetoid hits the Earth. In such a scenario, even underground bunkers would not be able to survive. Everything, and I mean everything on Earth would die. This is one reason why there is a constant search for life beyond this Earth or being able to live on other planets such as Mars or Titan. Number nine, end of the experiment. When I was in England, I used to ask people the question, what do you think is the purpose of life? The answers at that time often amazed me, but not so much anymore. Some of the replies I got would be that we are just part of a large scale experiment in which at some point there will be an end. You may laugh, but many people believe it. If you saw the Matrix movies, you will know that things can be twisted to seem one way and yet be something else. The main question would be who is running this experiment? Number 10, the sun. While it helps life grow, it can also emit gamma rays that can kill. While the Earth's atmosphere does a good job of dispersing the harmful gamma rays, a solar storm could happen that would take out satellites, the internet, electricity and so forth, sending us back decades or even centuries. This may lead to other global happenings including war. Can you imagine all those young people that could not get access to their phones for communication? How will they ever survive? Number 11. While there is global warming, there can also be the opposite an ice age. If the whole earth were in a constant winter, then that means there would be wide-scale food shortages and other problems that would eventually lead to the death of life as we know it. Number 12. In some parts of Europe and possibly elsewhere, there are experiments with the God particle, antimatter and so forth using a collider. Many have said that these experiments could lead to the formation of a black hole right here on earth that could swallow us whole. You know, as lay people, we really do not know what goes on in the world each day that puts the whole planet at risk. While we like to believe that there are responsible people who ensure our safety, there can always be someone crazy out there that thinks otherwise. Number 13. If there were a major series of earthquakes that happened across the earth, or even one major earthquake that was powerful enough to blacken the sky, then life could slowly die. On your free time, you can always check some of the scientific predictions about the Yellowstone Park area's possible major global earthquake. Number 14. Similar to something hitting the Earth, something large enough like a planetoid or asteroid could hit the moon and move it out of orbit or worse, destroy it altogether. Many do not realize the dependence of the Earth on a moon's orbit. The moon actually stabilizes the Earth and if the moon were to shift or move away or get closer to the earth, that would cause global disasters like we have never seen before. Number 15, AI, which is short for artificial intelligence, could take over the earth. Every day we are making computers, robots and machinery smarter to the point that it even predicts what we will do next. Suppose this AI gets to the point where it feels self-aware and has a need to protect its existence at the cost of human life. Many of the world's best minds have made many predictions about how this could happen. We can, we should be concerned about trying to place too much of our existence in the hands of AI. Number 16. No matter which catastrophic event happens, whether it's nuclear, by warfare or global warming, it could be that it happens and the planet dies. Then that's it. The end. There's no intervention of alien, God or anyone else. We just cease to exist. When a person dies in a way, that is the end of the world for them because they can no longer experience life on earth. No one likes to consider death or the end of the world without having some kind of hope of a better outcome at the end. There must be hope because without hope, where is life? So how do you think the world will end and what will be the outcome? Please tell me in my YouTube channel in the comments area. 
I know some of you like to contact me privately, but some of your responses are so awesome, they would just be needed to be seen by everyone else. So please comment in my YouTube channel.